let me show you what a Gmail email actually looks like on the new Samsung Galaxy Watch 7. So if you actually want to run Gmail on this watch, you have to basically go to your uh, Play Store, click this and enter Gmail here. Okay, and simply click the search button and click the download button here. So it will download and install. By default, this is not actually installed. So in this email, you can basically see pretty much everything as you could on like normal phone. Uh, so you can actually open your emails. Uh, actually, it won't be able to show you any like links or images. So only text. So you can see what it actually looks like. But as you can see, uh, there is like the full content of that email. And we can go back. Also, if we swipe like this, we can also uh, delete this as well if you want to. Okay. And yep, there should be images in here. So, but it's completely empty here. So only text really. Uh, also, uh, we are actually able to reply uh, to these emails as well. So click reply and type in your message or whatever really and type this. Okay, and your message will be get sent. There is one problem, however, on the Gmail app, which is kind of ridiculous. Uh, you can't really compose any new emails. So there's really no option to do this. So you can only reply, reply to the emails, but you can't really like open up a new email tab and type in someone's email address and send them an email address email. So that's completely ridiculous, really. Also, I find this app a bit laggy sometimes and not as smooth really. So uh, for most part, it's actually good, but I'm not, not a huge fan of the Gmail app on this watch. Actually, probably it uh, works better than on the previous Galaxy watches since uh, the CPU on this watch is three times faster than the, on the Galaxy Watch 6. But still, uh, I find this Gmail app at least lag a bit. So I wouldn't really rely on this Gmail app, especially because you can't really uh, like literally send a new email, only reply. All right, good luck.